What's up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about aquarium tools that do not rust. I'm also going to show you how to make some extra things that will be useful around your aquarium. Hi guys, welcome back to High on the Reef. Before we get to the bulk of the video, I'm going to give you some background on what exactly 3D printing is and how it works. Keep in mind this is just scratching the surface of things. I'd also like to apologize for this video being a little late. Alright, I'm going to get a little better, hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, on, to on to the video. I use an FDM printer, which stands for Fused Deposition Modeling. Um, it's basically a fancy term for laying molten plastic on top of itself in layers that cool down and fuse. So, the printer will get to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit which is the melting point of the plastic that I use. Um, so when it is at this temperature, it'll lay down beads, and as those beads cool, it'll lay down more on top, and the beads will fuse together, uh, just like the picture above. So um, next I'm going to show you a picture of my printer. This is the one that I use. Um, I got it on sale. Sometimes they have those student discount sales and stuff, so... Um, it's relatively low price and budget friendly um, and you can do a lot with it. Your imagination pretty much um, limits you. So the first thing you need to start is a 3D designer CAD software which is pretty easy depending on what you're doing but can take a while to learn so I made the scalpel on mine. Um, again if you guys are confused and you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below. Um, and I'll do my best to answer. I'm going to make more videos to kind of depict this process. Um, so we're going to print out this scalpel. Um, it's going to be like a little time lapse and I'm going to show you some basic functions of this uh, CAD software and how I make things. So I hope you guys uh, sit back and enjoy. This is the metal scalpel I have from BRS, um, and it's starting to rust. Now keep in mind, all metal at some point will rust, unless it's like gold or some nerf metal, I believe. Um, I'm not too versed in it, but most metal that we have commonly available is going to rust. So, 
I hate buying new tools. A set is like thirty dollars. One of these could be like five or six bucks. Um, and I'm an engineering student, so I decided why not just design one on a CAD software and print it out myself. So that's what I did. I took all the measurements I needed from this using one of these, using a caliper. So I just measured it, whatever, wrote everything down in my book. Put all the measurements in the CAD software, drew all the lines, extruded it, printed it out, and then I got my Mark 1. Alright, so this is printed on a PLA plastic. PLA plastic is polylactic acid, there's variants of it. Uh, this is a cheap PLA that came with my 3D printer. Um, it's pretty strong, pretty durable. You know, it does flex a lot more than the metal. This, this one doesn't fit the blade because I accidentally made the connection a little too thick. Um, but I sanded it down a little and it fits the blade just fine. Alright, and I've, I can use this to frag, I can use this to cut things up. I don't have any demos right now because I have a 10 gallon tank and um, don't really have anything to frag. Then I made a Mark II. So I made the connection a little bit thinner to the point where it will fit. So, a couple of disclaimers when using these tools. Alright, you're probably never going to get a plastic model that is just as strong as the metal model. But that's just how it is. But, the one thing that plastic has over metal is that it won't rust. I can leave this in a tank for six years and it won't rust. But, depending on the plastic, it will degrade. So, polylactic acid is known for its biodegradable properties because it's made out of corn um, oil or corn byproducts or something. So, if I were to leave this in a tank for, let's say, six years, it would degrade, uh, releasing those oils back into the water, having a similar effect to uh, carbon dosing. So, uh, but I don't think I've ever, I've looked this up on the internet, and I think, and on forums, on Reef to Reef, I don't think anyone's ever tried it to the point where um, the, they would know the carbon dosing uh, qualities of this material when it degrades in the water, but um, certainly people have made frag racks and put them in their tank and used them for extended periods of time with no uh, negative effects. So, another thing, it does take time. So it might be easier to uh, just go on BRS or go on Marine Depot or go on all these websites and just get a new metal scalpel because your old one's rusted or a new metal uh, pair of scissors or whatever. But, but um, I think that 3D printing is a lot cheaper. I even did the math for you, and this scalpel only cost me 62 cents and a little bit of labor, so it's not half bad. And moving on, so I did promise you guys a little new uh, tank reveal. So here it is. Um, it's one of these full view aquariums from Lifeguard Aquatics. It's a pretty sweet tank. I have it set up and it's cycled, and I have a fish in it. Um, but I'm gonna make a video, uh, pretty much detailing all the setup and what I have for filtration and my lighting and my fish. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to close out this video with some uh, tank shots of my Nuvo 10 uh, without a gel filter and then some with a gel filter uh, to show you the true colors of all the corals and stuff. So I hope you guys like it. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.